Hi, it's Dr. Meyer coming to you from East Bay Dis Centers in Concord, California. I want to talk specifically with our current patients who are struggling with adhesive capsulitis or what we also call frozen shoulder. Now, this is on YouTube, so other people will have access to it, but I'm going to strongly suggest that before you take any steps and do any of these exercises, either come and see us or check with your own practitioner before doing anything that could possibly cause injury. So if we've evaluated your condition and we know that frozen shoulder is what you're dealing with, then using a pulley for exercise is one of our go-to uh, approaches. So I'm gonna pretend right now that I've got a shoulder problem, frozen shoulder, on my right side. So that means this one, my left arm, is perfectly fine. That's gonna be my power arm, my strength arm, while the, the problem arm and shoulder are just going to be relaxed and they're just going to go along for the ride. So we want two basic motions initially. We're going to do a forward extension motion. So I'm pulling with my left and my right is just staying relaxed. Now if you can only get up to here before the pain starts kicking in, that's all I want you to go to. We want you to get nice and used to that. Over time, we'll be able to get you to start raising the arm higher up, and ultimately we'll get to where you can have full extension. But I don't expect that in the beginning. I also would like you to do it in the side position. So you'll pull down and you'll let the arm raise up like this. Now again, you may only be able to get to this point. That's very common. So we're gonna continue there. I'd like you to do, uh, let's say eight repetitions, maybe three times a day. Unless I give you advice to do a different amount uh, when you're in here for an appointment. But that's basically how to use the pulley system. You can see how easy they are. These are super cheap. You should be able to get it for 10 bucks off Amazon or at a sporting goods store. It just hooks over the top of the door. Any door, you can easily carry it with you if you're traveling or you're I'm gonna be staying with you know family or friends for a few days. Try not to go too long without doing the exercises because the consistency is critical when you have frozen shoulder. It tends to get worse over time if you're not working on making it better. So, so consistency and diligence is really important. If you have any questions at all, do not hesitate to call. If it worsens your symptoms, you feel more pain or you have a new or different problem, let us know right away so that we can address that and make sure that you're not doing anything to hurt yourself and we can keep you moving in the, in the direction of getting better. So uh, reach us at 925-320-3472 and we hope you do great with this. We'll see you next time.